Let me start from the beginning. Harry and Meghan got married in 2018 in a lavish royal wedding that was celebrated around the world. On the surface, they seemed like the picture-perfect couple. But behind closed doors, things weren't quite so rosy. Multiple sources have reported tensions between Meghan and some of the senior royals like Prince William and Kate Middleton. There were also rumors of Meghan clashing with royal protocols and traditions. Within just a couple of years of their marriage, Harry and Meghan shocked everyone by announcing they were stepping back from their roles as senior working royals. They said they wanted more privacy and financial independence. At the time, it seemed like a controversial but understandable personal choice. The couple moved to Canada temporarily before settling in California where they've been living since last year. But new information has come to light that casts Meghan's motivations in a much darker light. Apparently, Princess Beatrice, who has always been close with Harry, became suspicious of Meghan's intentions from fairly early on in their relationship. Over time, she began confiding in some of her family members about concerns she had regarding Meghan's true motives for marrying into the royal family. According to Beatrice, Meghan seemed more interested in fame, status, and influence rather than serving the monarchy. Something else that piqued Beatrice's suspicions was Meghan's apparent willingness to push Harry away from his family and closest friends. Since moving to America, he slowly drifted apart from William and many other people he was once very close to. Beatrice felt this wasn't a coincidence and that it was part of a plan by Meghan to isolate Harry. She began doing some discreet digging to try and uncover what Meghan's long game really was. And that's when Beatrice allegedly discovered the most shocking part of Meghan's agenda, her secret plan to collect Harry's inheritance. As many of you know, when Prince Charles becomes king, Harry is expected to receive a substantial inheritance from the Duchy of Cornwall estates. Estimates put the value at around $20 to $25 million. Beatrice claims Meghan had the long-term goal of manipulating Harry into cutting ties with the royal family so she could push him to renounce his place in the line of succession. If Harry gave up his position and rights as a senior royal, Meghan would then be able to petition for a divorce on the grounds that he was no longer able to financially support her lifestyle as a royal spouse once should have become accustomed to. In the divorce settlement, Meghan would demand a large payout of Harry's inheritance money to compensate for her supposed losses from leaving the royal life. It would effectively allow her to profit massively from her short time as Duchess while crippling Harry's future wealth and status. According to Beatrice's sources, Meghan had been secretly scheming this complex plan for years with the help of her ambitious mother Doria and some powerful American friends and advisors. They assured her she would easily be able to manipulate the naive Harry and position herself to take a major cut of his inheritance down the line. All Meghan needed was time to gradually poison Harry against his family and friends while cementing her public image as a victim of racism and oppression by the monarchy. By the time Harry began to realize what was happening, he had already been so thoroughly controlled and cut off by Meghan that escaping her influence would be incredibly difficult. Thankfully, Beatrice was able to get wind of the scheme in its early stages and decided she had to intervene to save her cousin from financial and emotional ruin. She confided her fears to some other members of the royal family who took the concerns very seriously. Behind the scenes, Beatrice and other royals began subtly encouraging Harry to spend more time apart from Meghan and reconnect with old friends who couldn't be corrupted by her influence. According to sources, this helped snap Harry out of the manipulative fog Meghan had put him under to some extent. Around the same time, Beatrice anonymously revealed some key details about Meghan's alleged inheritance plot to a couple of journalists she trusted at British tabloids. While the stories couldn't be fully substantiated or directly call out Meghan, they raised enough questions publicly about her motivations and true intentions to throw a wrench in her long game. With the scheme facing potential exposure, Meghan and her advisors realized they needed to radically accelerate their plans before they were fully uncovered. That's when Meghan and Harry made their shocking announcement in January 2020 that they were walking away from royal life. By abdicating their position so abruptly with little consultation of the Queen or other royals, it showed just how panicked Meghan was getting that her scheme was on the verge of being exposed. She needed to get out of Britain as quickly as possible before Beatrice and others could sabotage her plans even further. So she manipulatively guilt Harry into an unstable, it's me or your family ultimatum, knowing full well he could never choose against her due to how isolated she had made him from support systems. Sources close to Beatrice say she was heartbroken but not entirely surprised by Harry's decision. She knew Meghan had already sunk her claws in too deep and destroyed any real bonds of trust Harry had left with his own family. 
All Meghan and her advisors cared about was getting their hands on Harry's inheritance, status and brand value by any means necessary and at whatever personal cost to the prince himself. They saw him as nothing more than a cash cow to exploit. Even from thousands of miles away in California, the scheming is allegedly still ongoing. Beatrice's network of royal contacts claim Meghan is working overtime to completely cut Harry off from the remnants of his family back in Britain. Any communication that isn't approved by her goes through intense screening and censorship. She continues manipulating the press with carefully crafted PR images and narratives to sustain her pitomy victim status that protects against criticism. And she's accelerating plans with her political allies in America that could see Harry renounce his title